such a good story. Now, come here. This is Carol. Carol uh, 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 is the one who invented the original colour of the uh, home box. Really? Post office red. Oh, wow. Yeah. This is. Yeah, I had them all, all, all the top taps standing around me while I made it up and mixed it and tested it and what have you. Under their supervision, but then it was registered under my name. So. Oh, fantastic. Your son wrote and told me the story. He did. And, yes. and I was just absolutely delighted to you hear see, that. You see, it was really quick. On a Saturday morning, was just, uh, you know, this is a bit wacky. <laughs> you know, back in the day. Yeah. And he said, oh, guess what? And he said, fine. He said, it was all the phone boxes and that. He knew what I'd told him about the cell. So he said, he came back to me and said, oh, I've been in contact and spoken to him. And, you know, we've sort of progressed from there. And then when this came, I rang him and I said, I've got to come down. Because I bought a piece that was only in print from here. So of course I had an impact. I called and I went, I don't believe you. And how many have I done? That one, that one, this one here. Yeah, that one keeps drawing me. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> but I know, but I know. I said, I wonder how many. How many of you you can see, the red is my base colour, uh, and I've let that shine through here, and adds some extra to the green, it makes it really work, and what it does is it's the pink, is that with the white, yeah. the, the red, yeah. that's right. It comes at the same time as you have these clouds, these, these big, dramatic clouds, and going the motorway, you can see the, the yellow fields and the big clouds billowing up, it's like, whoa! It's like summer's bursting forth. Does it give you attention? Yes, it does. Yeah, and it gives it to you. Wow. Also, it gives you the energy and the intensity of this colour. When you stand further backwards, you can see the movement on the clouds. The clouds are moving up and light breeze across the screen as well. So we're all moving together over the house. Feel to it. You can you can actually put yourself there. Uh, uh, well, moments are really important. Isn't it? Spotting the to be here. Okay, and why are we here today, um, Well, I'm exhibiting my paintings here, um, and this is the first time I've been to Dublin with my paintings, and I've been absolutely delighted by the reaction when I've come along and seen them, uh, and I'm just as excited as, uh, as other people, because this is the first time I've seen them framed right. and on display in a beautiful gallery and setting like this, so the last time I see these paintings, they in my easel, and I'm driven by the constant changing seasons okay. and every day is different. You can see that in, in your paintings anyway, can't you? Thank you. Yeah, and there's obviously a very large crowd come down today. They've been quite responsive to you. Oh yeah, yeah, there have been lots of interesting questions about different paintings and about the, the way paintings evolve uh, and I'm an impressionist painter. I like to paint for the money because uh, um, great moments are, are with us every day mm -hmm. and all you have to do is, is look for them and you'll see them. 
Because when did you start painting? Is it from a young age? Because I obviously know you from my younger years and from television, but I didn't know until today that you are a painter. Has this been lifelong? Have I just missed it? Um, I've always been interested in art. I've always been passionate about it. And my dad encouraged me to paint, and I would take uh, the watercolours with me on wackaday filming trips. Right. The crew would like that, because when I got my paints out, they could have a cup of tea. <laughs> and um, when uh, when the director was short at the store, he'd say, hey, take a picture and tell us what you're doing. Right. So, uh, you know, great moments happen. This one, for instance, mm -hmm. dropping my kid off at school and coming home again, I, uh, and I thought, I'll just take a detour and go for a walk along the river. And you can see it's a, it's a misty morning. The catkins are out here. So, as I'm down by the river, and this is a scarf here, this boat came round with its um, chugging away. And I like the way the smoke turned the same shade of blue as the background. And you've got that lovely misty feel uh, of, of mist rising off the, off the water. The catkins hanging down, the skeletal trees. You can tell the time of year. You will tell me the time of year. No, it's more specific than that. It's the second week of February. Okay. I'll tell it. There's a moment where things change. Right now, you see it with the daffodils poking up. They're coming out. The crocuses are out, aren't they? You've got that sense of the day's getting slightly longer. It's bitterly cold, but it's going to warm up. Get out there, enjoy the Peak District, have a little look and see what you can see. And when the light comes over the hills and the clouds are there creating shadows and you get this patchwork of light and shade, it's just magnificent. I love that. It's every single day. You've always been known as a colourful character. Yes. Um, including Thank dressed. God I am. <laughs> You'd be disappointed if it wasn't colour in these places. That is very true. But is that something you put into your paper? Is it just a little bit of your paper? Or is it a different thing to try? Inspiration can happen every day. Around the corner just over here, look at this one. You know what inspires that one? Well, tell me what inspires that one. Um, well, mine, clearly. Steam train, powering over it. Do you see the thousands of people who are out uh, this week when flying spots from the down the uh, line? And the train is stopped by the crowds of people. Well, this is flying stops from here on one of its uh, train runs when it's just been uh, sorted out after its four million pound refit. Steam trains, I mean, they've got some dark work, haven't they? Absolutely. We are a train industry, we are a train city. We are, and, and, and we have things to be proud of. Derby is, uh, you know, it's the greatness of Britain. It's built in Derbyshire. Mm -hmm. And I'm thrilled to be here to show my paintings and to celebrate Derby. We're thrilled to have you here, Tommy. Thanks so much. Thank you, thank you for your time.